So Timothy says that we are supposed to fight a good fight of faith. Notice he didn't say fight people. He said fight beliefs. You've got to fight to believe. Fight to believe. So, so let's supposing that all of a sudden somebody in your family gets sick. You've got to fight to believe that they're healed. You can't just guess past them and say be healed. You got to lay hold to that belief system. And it doesn't matter. Let's say they get worse. You've got to continue believing. You got to wake up and speak the word over their lives. I believe according to the word of God. By his stripes you are healed. I'm fighting the good fight of faith. For the weapons of our warfare. They're, they're not carnal but they're mighty through God. To the pulling down of strongholds. Am, am I right? Casting away imaginations and every high and lofty thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. You got to fight the good fight of faith. And when you begin to fight this kind of faith, what you're doing is you're actually plucking up and you're pulling down and you're overthrowing things. You make a declaration that devils can't set up shop in your house. Not going to sit on your sofa and watch TV with you. You've got to be out of your mind. Your house should be a holy place. You should learn how to do this. Your house should be just as holy as the church. That means when you walk in your house, you should sense the presence of God. You should feel free to worship God in your house. You should pray and God speaks to you in your house. You don't need to come to the church to hear God. You hear him in your bedroom, at your bedside, because you've consecrated your house and it becomes the house of God. And his presence is in your house and no evil shall come nigh your dwelling. You hear what I'm saying? That's how serious it is. Thank you. Uh, Sister Amica knows what I'm talking about. She just stood up over there and I just happened to see, see her. But she knows exactly what I'm speaking about when, when, when you get medical reports that are contrary to the word of God. And I mean, you know, kudos to medical science. We do need them every now and then, but not all the time. And where medical science comes up short, there is another word from God. That's why Isaiah said, whose report shall we believe? Are you hearing what I'm saying? They could prophesy something over your life through medical science and God has a different report. But we choose to believe the report of the Lord. And I believe like David, even if they say death, I can still go back to the word of God. And I can say, I shall not die, but I shall live. Now I'm fighting the good fight of faith. God can do it. You're not going through anything God can't bring you out. You're not dealing with any situation that God can't turn around. There's no person in your life that God can't change. I know your husband's being stubborn, but it's a setup for God to manifest his glory in your life. Somebody ought to give God praise right there, right now, just for that. I'm feeling something in here today. We make declarations to the enemy that we are more than conquerors, that we can do all things through him. With God, all things are possible. I believe it, therefore I'm persuaded that God is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. I want you to talk to your situation right now. This is the anointing for it. If it's your money, talk to it. If it's your marriage, talk to it right now. And that mountain has got to move. It's gotta 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 move. Pluck it up. Throw it down. Overthrow it. Pull it out. It's got to move. It's got to move. Oh yes. I'm feeling good right now. Sorry, but I'm feeling real good. I'm feeling real good. Feeling real good. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Every devil has got to come out. Now, come out now. Come out now. Come out now in the name of Jesus. Come out of the minds of the people of God. Come out of their bodies. Vacate their homes. Leave their places of employment. Get out of their vehicles now, now, now. In the name of Jesus, we bind it on the earth. It's bound in the heavens. We loose God's blessings on the earth. It's loose in the heavens. Oh, yes. Oh, yes.